All right, it seems like it took maybe a little longer than most years, but the leaves are finally falling around town. That means a lot of us will be picking up those rakes this weekend. If, but if that doesn't appeal to you, WLWT News Size Katie Donovan is here with the cost of hiring help from a professional, Katie. And, you know, we got that win tomorrow, so a yeah. lot of decisions need to be made <laughs> on how you're going to get this done. Absolutely. You have to make the decisions quickly because uh, we're going to get good bit of leaves here as we head into the next couple of days and uh, fall leaves reach their peak color a little bit later than usual and that means they're going to be falling to the ground a little bit uh, more behind schedule as well this year. Now I know some of us rake our own leaves while others were prefer to hire professional help. So if you're considering bringing in a landscaping company to clean up your leaves in your yard, be prepared to open your wallet. So typically we go about 50 to 60 dollars a man hour. Um, typical yards, especially like this, these are the easier ones, maybe about three to four hundred dollars. On the high end, you can get up to a thousand dollars on a tree on a leaf cleanup. Sometimes it can be even more, but I mean that's if they got lots of trees and maybe an acre of land and they want it all gone and taken. And Patterson says that's an average cost per visit. He says be prepared to pay a little bit more than what you normally would this year too. Warm and humid weather this year caused some landscaping companies to postpone their work. That means the demand for work is high, but the actual supply of companies to do the job is lower. I'm told November is usually the time landscapers are wrapping up their fall cleanup jobs. And this year they're actually just getting started, those first fall cleanups. So when it comes to booking a landscaping company, do your homework and look at reviews. And you want to look for someone who's reliable, honest, as well as punctual. Kelly and Steven. Yes, that would help as well. <laughs> Katie, thank you. If you are interested in a free option, the city of Cincinnati offers free yard waste removal to residents within city limits, mm -hmm. keeping that part in mind. So there are also a number of public drop-off sites if you're needing a place to get rid of those leaves. Yeah, oftentimes you don't have a place to put it all. That's true, but you won't have to worry about the cost of a yard cleaning service if you win tomorrow night's. Powerball. You can just leave them there, call whoever you want.